Hello. Um, this is the Ghost Guide um, Security. Um, this is the brick part. We did Zarya. We did Diva. We did Ryan. And now we're doing Brig. Brig Bot. Sorry, Flex players. See you next meta. Um, so this is just like I said, mindset. How uh, example I'm gonna be using is attack and throw first. Uh, so you come out, um, D.Va, you don't really need to shield, D.Va DMs the initial spam, and then you're defaulting with Ryan, which again, I want to repeat it because it's very important, defaulting is stacking on the Ryan and being available to follow up on any fuck-ups. So for Ryan, if, I'll do the same example as the other videos. If there's a Hanzo right here, and there's a Ryan is over here, and he calls Hanzo, you want to be in a position to be with the Ryan and that. Um, don't whip, uh, don't ever whip, actually, even if they're, unless they're one and they're far away, um, you do not want to whip, because what if you, you whip and they go away, and since you're, the team comp is short range, you can't finish them off, um, even if they're one, because what if, like, a cookie comes out of anywhere from a brig, and then the whip bashes them back, same thing, short range, you can't finish them off. So you never really want to bash their other tools for burst, for example, D.Va with uh, rockets, there's the Zen with Discord, there's the Zarya, there's the Ryan, there's the Lucio headshot, um, so you don't need to bash, um, I mean to whip, because, yeah. Okay, so you're out there, you're defaulting, um, the initial rollout, you're with Ryan, he's shielding, you're right next to the Ryan. Um, Brigida is the most fragile person in, in most fragile character in Ghost, even more so than Zenyatta. Because Zenyatta can stay back and he has positioning, um, whereas like team can't in a Ghost v Ghost it can't really match you. So Brigida doesn't really have that freedom of positioning because she has to be right next to the Ryan because she's short range, she wants to get inspire as much as possible. You want to be looking to get that inspire if it's not happening, like even whipping in D.Va and pocketing, uh, procking that. Um, just gives tops off healing, um, which is good because the Lucio is always on speed unless he's on heal sometimes. Um, and the Zen only has um, uh, harmony, and that only is one person. So that, that inspiration really helps a lot with healing, especially when... The, the healing buff came out um so yeah you're here you're defaulting um defaulting is also breaking shield so w when you want to be whipping um when you pull out shield it's kind of like eh when you just set up a dash if you're like going for if you're like separating from the default and you're not being on the right shield you can bash and look for something but i don't know um you don't really want to be holding up shield. Um, you, you want, so you're, you're meleeing. When you're meleeing, you're very easy, since you're right next to the Ryan, you're very easily able to be sped upon. If you're even a little bit forward from the Ryan shield, you'll, you'll get, you'll, you're a fuck up, and then you get messed up. Um, fuck ups usually happen with Briggs, um, to be completely honest. I was a Brig bot for a month, and yeah, that was a pretty hard month. I died a ton. Um, so yeah, so you either want to be nailing behind the Ryan shield where you're safe or around corners. Because with corners, if you're out here, if you back up, you'll still be able to hit and you die. If you're in a corner, you can back up more easily. That's why in GOATS, a lot of the positioning of GOATS, the reason why I don't really talk about positioning, because positioning is basically corners and hugging stuff. Like, you're, you're hugging the wall and then you peek. You're hugging the statue. You move up. You're 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 hugging this spot. If they're over here, you literally just use this corner, and then you use your range, and then you win the default. Um. So yeah, that's why the main reason is that you don't take that much damage, and you get advantage in default by doing that. And also, Brig is allowed to be more safe. Um. So yeah, um, your whip only really used to proc inspire or to get someone that's one that's far away and nobody else can kill. Um, your cookie, your E, is 
use most of the time on Ryan. Um, even if they're running Sombra and they're fragging your Zen, that's usually the Diva's fault, not your fault. The Diva should be spy checking and DMing the Sombra shots. The Zen should be calling, oh, Sombra's here. The Diva should instantly DM and make sure the Sombra doesn't get value. So you really only want to be armoring the 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 Rhine. Um, if you're in a fuck up phase and kind of it stalls out, which it usually does because teams aren't perfect and they don't capitalize on the fuck up. The cookie is usually used on someone that's low, so they don't die. Because if someone dies, it kind of ruins the whole comp. But if nobody, you just armor the Rhine because armor really needs it. Uh, the Ryan really needs it. Um, uh, you want to be using Bash in a couple ways. Um, if the Ryan is fucked up, if like the Ryan's right here, and the rest of their team comp is here, and your Ryan calls, oh, kill the Ryan, kill the Ryan, you Bash to prevent a shield, um, and then the shield can't have value, and so you're hitting him and killing him instead of the shield. Um, you can also, what I like to do, if the Ryan's over here and the whole team's over here, you can just bash, get out. Um, if they have a grab, you bash the Ryan or you bash the the, the Zarya to prevent bubbles and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, Brigitte's pretty easy. Before fights, you rally. Um, yeah, Brigitte is one of the easiest person in GOATS. Um, you want to be maximizing your swings, I guess. Like, the more people you hit, the better. So, yeah. Other than that, Brigitte is easy. Brig bot, lol. That's it.